She's a survivor who beat the odds and she's less than <laughs> five months old. A baby born prematurely weighing just over one pound at birth. Today, a special homecoming for the infant. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel has a heartwarming story thanks to the dedicated staff at a hospital in Long Beach. Today is graduation day for a very special someone, but she's not your typical student. She's graduating from the NICU at Miller Children's and Women's Hospital in Long Beach. Mars was born at just 21 weeks, and she's the youngest baby to be born at the hospital. Now, four and a half months later, she's heading back home to Compton, and her parents say they knew this would always be the outcome. I, I'll probably say within the first week of us staying here, my husband and I went over to the NICU wall. There's a graduation wall. And and I took a picture of that wall and her very first picture, which for me is very hard to see now, yeah. but her very first picture I put up, I made like a collage and put her picture up on that NICU wall and I put NICU graduate and I put the date and the month that I felt like she would get out of here. And I just held on to that. Sherry unexpectedly went into labor, rushing to the hospital to deliver Mars, who weighed only one pound, one ounce when she was born, which is about the size of a box of butter. This baby's survival is a modern miracle. We find that babies that are born extremely premature like this, they don't all survive. But because of specialized care that we give here at Miller Children's and Women's Hospital and a lot of the advancements in medical technology that we've been able to uh, be blessed with, we really find that the survival of babies like Mars is improving every day. I am never going to forget this baby because it's, I think, a huge reminder of, you know, why we do what we do and, you know, how we can get better at pushing the the limits of what we can take care of. Her parents spent countless days and hours watching over Mars, only thinking positive thoughts around her and manifesting she would go home. It, it was really one of those types of things where I, I didn't really have time to really think about anything else. And then even when I did, I put it in perspective. On Wednesday, the big day finally came and Mars finally graduated. Her parents and her NICU team celebrated as they moved the tassel on her graduation cap to the left to signify her official departure from the NICU. She'll now be added to the official NICU Hall of Fame at Miller Children's and Women's Hospital in Long Beach. Jaysha Patel, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.